Hello, 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 OMG. Welcome back or welcome if you are new. So excited that you are here. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. We are going to be decluttering my bedroom today. If you are new and you just found this channel, I would love for you to say hello and let me know that you are new down in the comments because I would love to welcome you. So we're going to take a look at my bedroom. It probably is the least cluttered room in my house. Well, except for the rooms I've already decluttered. Um, because I tend to keep this room, at least my stuff, fairly clean. That's my husband's little makeshift um, end table or, or um, nightstand. Because <laughs> we don't have a nightstand for him. I don't know why. This is his closet. I will not be decluttering his closet because I'm not going to go through his things. But super cute story. When we were in our old house, which was a very small house, it was half the size of this house, our bedroom literally had a half of a closet. That was it. So my husband had to use the spare room's closet, which later ended up turning into Grayson's room because we had two more children. Um, and so when we bought this house and he walked into the bedroom, he was like, oh my gosh, I get my own closet. <laughs> it was really cute. So we have side-by-side -side closets. They're not walk-in closets, but they're plenty big enough for us. And um, the way they were designed has, you know, lots of different hanger options. So this is my closet, which I really do need to declutter and I don't know if I'm going to get to it in this video, but I'm gonna try my hardest because I know I have a ton of things in here that I just don't wear and I really need to get rid of. But I am so excited. I told you in last week's video that I have a painter coming. She's gonna be removing the wallpaper in this room, thank goodness, and in my master bath, and we're going to be painting in here. So I am so excited and ready for a fresh look in here. We bought this king size bed 10 years ago when we moved into this house. Um, and it is fantastic because it has dresser drawers on each side. So my side has six drawers and my husband's side has six drawers. So really, truly, I am so incredibly blessed. I just have so much storage in this house which makes it really nice because I don't have to be super picky with where I put things because I do have so much storage. Now, my dresser normally is not filled with things, but it is right now because we did have the painting done downstairs. Um, I pulled some, brought some stuff upstairs, so it's kind of filled. And this is our laundry hamper. <laughs> it's literally a cardboard box that we use to throw our dirty laundry in because it's right outside of the shower. It works for us, it's nothing fancy, but it works for us. So this is an overview of what my bedroom looks like. I cannot wait to show you the transformation. I am so excited to get the wallpaper down and this room painted. We sleep with a fan, I think I've said that in another video, so there is a couple of fans in our bedroom. And then I have a um, really nice full-size jewelry uh, armoire, I guess you would call it, and mirror that I got off Facebook Marketplace. All right, so we are gonna get to decluttering. So this little makeup organizer was in my kitchen when I decluttered my kitchen, and I was trying to decide if I wanted to keep it and I have now decided I do not want to keep it. So I'm going to go ahead and donate that. And I'm gonna clear off this little table here. This is like a little makeup vanity. It's a really nice little vanity that my husband bought me for Christmas years ago now. Um, and if you caught my decluttering of my kitchen, I said in that video, I have always put my makeup on in the kitchen. So I literally don't use this table. I think I'm gonna go ahead and list it on Facebook Marketplace. It kind of makes me feel bad because my husband bought it for me, but I literally don't use it. And it doesn't make any sense for me to keep it if I'm not using it because obviously I just fill it with clutter. <laughs> 
And somebody commented on my kitchen decluttering video recently and said something like, it seems like you have a lot of things in your kitchen that don't belong in your kitchen, like makeup. <laughs> It's so funny because we all have our own routines and our own things we are comfortable with. There literally is no right or wrong. For most people, they may put their makeup on in the bathroom or in their bedroom. I don't, I never have. So it makes perfect sense to me to have my makeup in the kitchen because that's where I put it on when I wear makeup. All right, so, so far these are the things I've taken from this makeup vanity and I'm going to start a bag for donation. And I've got some boxes down here that don't belong here. So I'm gonna break these down and get these in the recycle bin. And I've got some of EJ's diapers and wipes that don't belong in my bedroom. So I'm gonna go put those where they belong. All right, we're gonna move on to my end table and just quickly declutter this. And I totally realize that decluttering is a never ending process. Like we're always gonna build up clutter. We're go always going to have to declutter, but I have to say it is so fantastic. I now have my dining room done, my kitchen done, my family room done, my hall closet done, most of my kitchen cabinets done. And so when I'm finding things in other rooms that don't belong, I know exactly where they go. It is awesome. And maintaining is just way easier than working on big projects and trying to declutter big spaces. All right, I'm gonna move on to get all this clutter off of my dresser. So my middle daughter, Viviana, just turned 13. So I let her have a couple of friends come over and have a sleepover for her birthday and a couple of her friends have subscribed to my youtube channel and have been watching some of my videos and when Mila walked in she said viv look your house is still clean <laughs> it was so adorable i just find it so easy if i put a system into place that I like, which I am particular about what I like, then it's very easy to maintain it and keep up with it for me. So decluttering is so much work, but it is well worth it. All right, dresser cleared off, looks so much better. I really would like to get rid of this TV up here. I personally do not ever watch TV when I go to bed, but my husband does. <sighs> and unfortunately, this little TV did not come with a mount. Maybe I'll figure something out later. But I'd love your feedback on this. So this dresser we bought when we first got married. So it's like 26 years old. It's got some dings and dents in it. I am thinking of painting it because it doesn't match um, my bed or my nightstand. Have you guys ever worked with any chalk paint or painted furniture do you have any feedback i would love to hear it i'm not a painter but i think that might be a fun project and as you can probably tell i'm just you know every area that i'm decluttering i'm moving the stuff to my bed i'm going through it so i'm just looking through everything right now i'm finding a whole bunch of miss matched socks and some holy ones that I'm gonna throw away. Hopefully when I clean out my dresser drawers, I'll find some matches to these poor lonely socks. All right, this drawer, look what I found. Oh, I gotta get a pillow. I found a picture, oh, I had a like pillowcase made of my Gus's face. Oh my Gus, I miss him so much. I gotta get a pillow and fill that. This drawer is full of stuff that I don't use very often or I just didn't have room somewhere else to put. This dresser has, I think six, no, it has seven drawers and I have taken up four of them <laughs> and my husband has three of them. So I'm gonna go through this top drawer and figure out what's in here, what I'm keeping and what I'm not keeping. Okay, I already know decluttering my clothes is going to be a very slow and emotional 
process for me. About three years ago, I committed to making some changes and lost 70 pounds. I lived my entire adult life as a morbidly obese woman. And these shorts right here are a size 22 and I only owned one pair of shorts only because we were going, I think somewhere on vacation and I needed them because I wouldn't wear a bathing suit without shorts. And I only bought them so I could swim with my daughter for a short period of time. And I have held on to those shorts to remind me of how far I have come because it's very easy to focus on what is still left to achieve. And in full transparency, I did really good probably the first four months of the pandemic and then some depression and things started to kick in and I have definitely gained some of the weight back. So I'm gonna be getting back on track. But in the meantime, I, ha I need things like that to remind me of how much I have truly accomplished. Here's another shirt I have held on to. This is actually a double XL, a 2XL. I am holding on to this one a little bit for more for sentimental reasons, but I used to fit into this shirt. Um, my grandfather, who passed away in 2012, and I was very close to him, was inducted into the Hall of Fame for football um, from his college years, and that was a really special event in all of the family got these matching shirts with his last name on it and his football number. And I'm definitely not going to let that go, even though it does not fit any longer. And with losing so much weight, I literally had no clothes that fit me. So I definitely went on a little bit of a buying spree and trying to find some cute clothes. It was so fun. The first, the first time in my adult life, I had fun shopping because I didn't have to shop in the plus size section and I could get some of the cute clothes. But I decided to try on this shirt. This, I, oh, I need to find the picture of me and my family where we were all wearing the, this shirt. This shirt was literally tight in my hips. It didn't even go down all the way because it was so tight in my hips and my butt area. And I got, I just got to try on <laughs> these shorts. I just still cannot believe that this used to be my size. And I, I have to keep these for myself because it reminds me that I will never go back to this size again because I lived for so many years feeling depressed and just wanted to hide from the world and so ashamed that I couldn't figure out why I couldn't figure it out. So I've got a little pile going right here in the middle. These are gonna be things that I'm donating that either I just didn't like and I never took back. And some of these are things that I'm going to be keeping. And some of them don't quite fit me right now. They might be a little bit snug because of some of the weight I gained um, this past year. And I'm definitely keeping my Gus pillow. So for right now, what I'm gonna do, the things that I'm keeping, I'm gonna put back in this drawer until I figure out what I want to do with these so that I can move on to the next drawer. And as I tell you in every video, this video was done over multiple days in small chunks of time when I was able to do it. So one of my routines that I have developed, oh gosh, it's probably been about two years now, um, today is Sunday when I'm filming this section and I always wash my sheets on Sunday. Let me know if you have a routine. I will tell you, I did not used to, and I don't know, my sheets maybe got washed maybe once a month if I was lucky, maybe once every two months, but I faithfully wash them every Sunday now and it feels absolutely amazing to climb into fresh, clean sheets. It feels so good. It makes me almost wanna wash them every day if that wasn't as much work. 
<laughs> I probably would, but once a week is good. No judgment at all if you want to share how often you like to wash your sheets because I was not good at washing my sheets weekly for a long time. All right, we're gonna move on to the next drawer in my um, dresser. And yesterday was when I put this top drawer back and I decided I wanted to get rid of these shorts. Definitely not getting rid of this shirt. Drinks well with others. I love that shirt. And I do wanna say, as I talk about, you know, my struggles with my weight for all of these years, um, I wanna make it absolutely clear that I think women of all shapes and sizes are absolutely beautiful. I do not judge any person by their size. For me, I felt uncomfortable at the size that I was, and it was not good for my health to be morbidly obese. And I literally felt depressed carrying that much weight on my small frame. I am five foot two and I was 230 pounds. It is absolutely not, it was not healthy for me at all. So I, I just wanna say that because I never judged other people the way I judged myself or the way I do judge myself, which I think is a pretty common theme. I'm gonna try some different things with my clothes. I bought these little organizers to go in my drawers. I'm gonna try them out and see how I like them. And as I've told you in several videos, I started this channel to share different ways that I am transforming my life and my weight is definitely one of those things. It is a constant mental battle. So you probably will see videos on my channel about that as well. And I hate these organizers. It just looks so messy to me. So you know what? I still have two drawer dividers from when I did my um, bathroom declutter. I'm gonna see how I like the drawer dividers in my drawer instead. So one thing that I absolutely adore about this community is I have received so much positive feedback, so much support, and you guys are so fantastic at offering suggestions on just about everything, even when I don't ask for suggestions. So one thing that I will very kindly ask you is please don't give me suggestions about what to do with my clothes because again, this is a big mental struggle for me and I have to figure this out in my own way. You may think I shouldn't put something in some drawer. You may think I shouldn't keep certain things. I totally get it. We all have to do what is best for us in our households because we are not all the same. So I just ask that you hold any suggestions you have about what to do with my clothes because this is something that I just personally have to figure out. And I love this shirt. A subscriber sent me this. Hello, hello, hello. It was so darn sweet. All right, I am on the last drawer of my dresser. I mean, I'm, I'm nowhere near. I'm finding some leggings that have holes in them. Those I'm definitely going to throw away. <laughs> But I'm thinking with the new way I'm folding these clothes that I might just have a whole empty drawer in my dresser, which is gonna be pretty amazing. And I think this may be similar to a KonMari style. I've never watched any of her videos, so I don't really know for sure, but I'm condensing the way I'm folding them so that I have a little bit more room in my dresser and I think it's gonna work out beautifully. And I'm finding some leggings I love, but I couldn't see them in my drawer because it was too jam-packed. So, so far what I did was I've got like tanks on one side, um, t-shirts on the other, and now I'm putting all my leggings on the other side in one drawer. And these are gonna be donated right here. So I have a whole bottom drawer that doesn't have anything in it. Oh my gosh. All right, now I'm gonna move on to the drawers in the bed. And 
I also have a lot of blouses and dress clothes from when I used to work. I used to be a branch manager for a large retail bank before I got displaced. I was there for 15 years. So a lot of the work clothes, as I called them, I probably will donate. I will obviously keep some dress clothes because I do need dress clothes sometimes, but now working from home, I don't need as many dress clothes as I used to when I worked at the bank. And this has always been my pajama drawer and I'm gonna keep it as my pajama drawer. So I'm gonna put all my pajama clothes back into this drawer. And I'm just about filled up the bag that I'm gonna be taking to the donation center, getting rid of a lot of clothes. That feels really good. And some of the clothes that are a little bit snug on me since I've gained a little bit of weight back, I'm gonna put right here in these drawers because I don't use these drawers very often. I don't wanna put them in my regular dresser, but I also have so much room in here that I do not need to put them in a storage container and put them in the basement or something like that. All right, the sheets are done. And uh, the deal in my house is I wash the sheets and my husband makes the bed. <laughs> because it's, I mean, it's not like we've ever agreed upon that. My husband makes the bed fantastically. He does it way better than I do it. And so I think he just likes to do it because he wants it done the way he wants it done. <laughs> So he makes a bed and I don't have any problem with that. He's a little bit OCD when it comes to certain things. You should have seen him when the girls were babies. He was so particular with the way he wanted their diaper to be put on that it would literally take him three or four minutes to change a diaper because he would do it, undo it, do it, undo it, do it, undo it. <laughs> oh, it was so darn cute. And this is my favoriteest blanket ever, ever of all time. My grandmother, who I was extremely close to, passed away in 2010. And my aunt took all of her clothes and had four quilts made out of her clothes. So this quilt is my grandmother's clothes. And I love it and it keeps me warm every night. Okay, this is hilarious. So I have to show you guys this. So you know, you watch me do my little organization this way. My husband does, I would say 70 to 80% of the laundry. He didn't put any of my clothes away <laughs> because he's probably so confused when he opened my drawers and saw the way I folded everything. So he just left everything folded on the bed. <laughs> Isn't that hilarious? Yep, I was right. <laughs> he came upstairs and he was like, I don't know what you want me to do with these. I almost just put these in the empty drawer. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just going to refold these my way and put them back in the drawer the way I had them originally organized. That is so funny. So if you caught my video last week, we hit 3,000 subscribers on the channel. So incredibly grateful for all of you. So I announced a gift card giveaway for a $25 Amazon gift card. So I'm going to be drawing the winner right now. And the winner is Salisa, Salisa Carper. Congratulations, Salisa. I am so excited for you. Send me an email. I will pop it up on the screen. It's always in the description box as well. And I will email you over a Amazon code for $25. All right, I don't think I'm gonna have time to tackle the closet because I got some exciting things going on that I'll share with you. But this is my jewelry armoire. So we're gonna go ahead and tackle this. It is a hot mess. I just have so much stuff in here. I told you I went through a jewelry phase, a jewelry kick where I was buying a lot of stuff. I bought a whole bunch of paparazzi and a whole bunch of plunder jewelry. And most of it I don't wear. So we're gonna go ahead and tackle this right now and declutter this. And my plan is 
I'm not gonna pull everything out and look at it. I'm just picking up each piece as I go. And if I think I wanna keep it, then I'm keeping it in here. And if I know I do not wanna keep it, then I'm putting it on my bed. So normally I bring you my decluttering videos on Tuesdays, but next week you will not see a video from me on Tuesday. I might bring you one later in the week, we'll see. But my oldest daughter, Grayson, is getting married on Saturday and we are going out of town and we will not be back until Monday. All right, so this is everything I pulled out that I do not want to keep. I contemplated holding this for maybe a garage sale this spring, but you know what? I'm not gonna do that. And I've got a couple empty boxes. I'm gonna put this in my bag for a donation. This literally took me five minutes and it looks so much better. So like I always tell you, one drawer at a time. So my bag is full for donations and you know my rule. I take it to the donation center as soon as I can. So I'm getting that out of my house today. I've actually already dropped it off. And I decided I needed to tackle this nasty, dusty fan. Oh my gosh, it's so dusty. So my plan is for the next video you will see from me, I will get my bedroom closet decluttered and I will reveal to you my brand new bedroom with the wallpaper off with it painted and my master bath with the wallpaper off and it painted. So it'll either be late next week or it'll be the following Tuesday. And I had all kinds of trouble with this dang fan. I know it comes apart. I could not get the thing off. And then when I tried to put this little knob back on, it was not going on. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. Apparently this one's backwards. My husband had to tell me. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna get this um, makeup vanity out of here. And I got to tell you, just pulling it out just made the room feel so much better because I don't use it. So that was an awesome feeling. And now my floor needs a great vacuum. This floor gets vacuumed at least once a week, but I don't move around the things to vacuum. So, and with the painter coming, oh my gosh, Look at how dusty it is from my uh, jewelry armoire sitting there and not moving it. I wanna take the time to thank you so much for stopping by and watching this video. I hope it inspired you to do even just a little bit of something in your house because as I always tell you, I just said it a minute ago, but really truly it is one drawer at a time. I worked on this over multiple days so that I didn't feel overwhelmed and I was able to fit it into my schedule. So decluttering can feel overwhelming for sure. Take it in small chunks because it all adds up. Little teeny, changes add up to big, massive results. I'm finding little cat toys hidden all over. <laughs> if you have cats, do you find their toys just all over in random places? And I decided to move my nightstand and holy moly, I found a little mouse toy and it's real dusty back here. Oh my gosh. This vacuum is a pretty cheap vacuum that I got from Walmart. Let me know if you have a recommendation for a really good vacuum. I bought a really good one years ago. I can't even remember the brand. And I didn't feel like it worked any better than the cheap ones. So let me know if you have a recommendation. I feel like this one works pretty good, but with having pets in the house, I feel like I might need a stronger vacuum.
All right, I couldn't get to the closet today because of the painter coming and getting ready to go out of town for the wedding. So I am all finished. You see a little cat toy on the ground because as I tell you, real people live here. And so it's not always gonna be perfect and real cats live here. So here we go. I did not declutter my uh, closet. So I will definitely get to that next time. I definitely need to go through here and get rid of some of the things that I just don't wear, but I just did not have time to get to it today. And that's the thing with decluttering. Sometimes you can't get to the whole project. And I almost didn't put the, the suitcase back, the makeshift nightstand, but literally this is our real life. This is what my husband uses for his nightstand. So I put it back for now, but I think we're gonna be using that to travel with. <laughs> it's like a dual, dual item. It's a suitcase and a, a nightstand. When I figure out what I wanna do with my furniture in here, if I'm gonna paint it or what I'm gonna do, I will get my husband a nightstand. <laughs> so my dresser is all nice and cleared off, except for the things that I want on there other than a TV, which I don't want on there, but that's staying. And um, my dresser or my jewelry armoire is nice and organized again and is not just jam packed full of stuff. And you see my ring light in my bathroom that I was using for some extra lighting because I don't get good lighting back here. But it looks so nice. I'm so happy with the empty space over here. The room just feels better without more cluttered up furniture in there that I wasn't using anyways. There's another cat toy. I got cat toys all over the bedroom. They wake us up at 3 a.m. again with them. So this is what I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up and I'm excited to bring you my next decluttering video where I show you my brand new bedroom. Thanks so much for stopping by. I hope you have a great rest of your day.